and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest here. She is my best friend's little sister, Ellie. You know her older sister, Erica, from some of my previous videos. So she has volunteered her beautiful face to be in this video. So if you didn't guess by the title already, it is for a full coverage, dark, vampy, kind of berry autumn look. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the Boshe Clear Complexion Tonic, and this is just a mist that just clears the complexion and attacks any problem areas. So we'll let that soak in. So normally you would think with acne prone skin, you would have oily skin, but she finds that her skin is more on the dry side. So we're gonna also take a moisturizer and I'm taking the Frank Body Everyday Moisturizer that has caffeine in it and it's just gonna plump her skin and get it ready for the makeup. So it is so important to do a good skincare routine before you're putting a full face of makeup on because your skin doesn't know the difference between makeup and skincare. So if you don't put lotion or a serum or anything on beforehand, your skin will soak up and drink all the makeup, which is going to not be the greatest outcome. So you wanna fill it up with all the good things in the skincare so that you can avoid that if possible. So for foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless Foundation. And you guys know I am such a fan of this foundation. Even if you have not a flaw in sight, I think it's just such a great foundation. And I'm taking it in her shade, which is 2.0. So I'm just gonna do a couple pumps of this and apply it with a beauty sponge just because I don't wanna over apply the foundation. So the biggest thing with covering up redness, acne, um, blemishes, scars, anything, you don't wanna over apply foundation. Now taking a concealer that is the same color as her face, we're just gonna go in with spot treatment. So I'm taking the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer and just going in to cover any redness that still is showing through. Now to set that all in place, I'm going to be taking the MAC Pro Longwear Powder in Medium Plus and just putting that all over her face so that it is not going anywhere and it just kind of gives a little bit of extra coverage. Now taking the Wake Me Up Concealer and just putting this under her eyes and above her lip and a little bit on her nose just to highlight and brighten. Then going in with a loud dome-shaped makeup brush and just buffing it out and then we'll go in with the beauty sponge later just to make sure we got all areas. To set all that in place, I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and taking the lightest setting shade and just putting that under her eyes and wherever we highlighted. Now, Ellie already has great brows, but I'm just going to define them a little bit more and taking my perfect brow pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown and just fill in the sparse areas and then top it with the Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette. start off with eyes, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Top Notch or Taupe Notch and just running that through the crease. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to bring that top notch and just blend it onto the lid for a more sheer coverage. 
Taking a metallic maroon shade, I'm gonna just pop that into the outer corner of her eyelid and just blend that into the crease. To create a sharper edge, a little trick is to take a flat surface and line it up with the lower lash line and then blend from that so that it doesn't go out of um, the lines and you got a sharper edge. Mixing that metallic maroon shade and a matte dusty rose shade, I'm going to mix those two together and just put it on the lower outer corner of her lash line. So I'm really blending out that lower lash line to create that haze effect and kind of of a smoky effect underneath her eyes because she has such pretty green hazel eyes that anything with a burgundy or purple tone is going to make them pop. Taking Floof from MAC, I'm just going to highlight her brow bone so that it looks a little bit more prominent and that the eyebrow looks lifted. I'm also going to pop this into the inner corner of her eyes and blend it into the lid. Now taking Kat Von D Trooper Liner, this is the limited edition one, I'm just going to do a subtle wing on the top lash and not even take it out too far because she already has almond shaped eyes, I just want to kind of outline it so that there's a base for the lashes. For lashes, I'm going to be taking the Kiss Sultry Lash, which is a very subtle lash with a winged edge, and putting on Better Than Sex Mascara first. While her eyelashes are drying, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow Palette and doing a contour. So when you have fairer skin, you want to go more on the ashy tone for a contour and kind of skip the bronzing a little bit. So Ellie is a little bit more on the fair side, so this contour is perfect. So I'm going to get her to suck in her cheeks and we're going to follow that line and lightly buff upwards. Taking the highlight in the Charlotte Tilbury kit and just kind of hitting the high points of her face but nothing drastic because highlight does add attraction in areas where if you have spots that you want to cover up you don't want to highlight on top of them. For a pop of blush I'm taking Desert Rose from MAC and just putting that on the apples of her cheek just to add some color to the look. For the lips, you can either keep it neutral because the eye is a little bit heavier, but nothing crazy. But we're going to do a vampy berry kind of maroon color just because it is fall and you can get away with it. So I'm starting off with MAC Staunchly Stylish Lip Liner just to outline and hold in the color. Now taking Rebel from MAC, which is a dark uh, purple maroon shade, and putting it all over her lip. Then taking Diva, which is a little bit more on the red maroon side, which it is showing up a little bit more red on camera, but it is more purple and light. We're just going to put a little bit of this on top to blend it. So that's it for the full coverage fall vampy makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and for Ellie for being in my video and being such a great model. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.